This is Minecraft, but your XP equals your year. Today, my XP will allow me to travel through time from year zero, known as the caveman era, where I have zero levels to thousands of years into the future. In order to time travel, I must fill up my XP bar. And the more levels I have, the more futuristic life becomes. What happened all the way back in year 1000? What happens a thousand years into the future? Get this video to 10,000 likes to find out, or become like this. Also remember to subscribe now! Jeez Louise, look at me! I'm a freaking caveman! And that's because I have zero levels and I need to get more levels to advance society into a year where everything is cool and futuristic. And in my inventory, I currently have a caveman club that shakes the ground. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I guess. Where am I even anyways? Is this how cavemen used to live? Deep down in the underworld. Oh, and I'm even able to pick up blocks using this thing. Oh, geez, they explode. Can I throw it? <gasps> I can. Okay, I don't want to throw it at the bridge, though. I want to get over this thing and try and get some XP levels here. Let me get over to this house and see what's inside. Ah, there's a chest and inside a book. Help, it's huge. It's taking over the mountains. Come quickly! What? What is huge? What's taking over the... There's a button. What happens if I click it? Whoa! What the... Is that it? What in the world is that thing? It is huge! Is that like a woolly mammoth? Um, hey buddy! Oh, get out of here! Oh, wow! It actually wasn't that hard. And he dropped something. Mammoth tusks. Maybe I have to bring these back to the cave. Can they do anything? Can they be right-clicked? Oh, I'm back! Okay, uh, where do I put these things? Holy smokes, there's a huge fire over here. Um, okay. Oh, and a sign it says, make the sacrifice. Wait a second, does it want me to literally sacrifice these tusks into the fire? One and two. Whoa! Era up? I have 800 levels all of a sudden? That means we're in the year 800. Are these the ancient pyramids? Look at this thing. In my inventory, I now have a caveman rage. And look at me. <laughs> what in the world? I look sick. And if I right click the caveman thing, I turn into a caveman. And with this thing, I have like explosive jumps. Okay. Oh brother, there's a creeper. Okay, what powers do I have in this year? I have a Faroa's embrace. What is that coming down from the sky? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Yo, what? It just changed the creeper into gold and put gold ingots everywhere. That is sick. Oh, wait a second. It's my friend. Dude, that is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna grab all of these gold ingots so that I can maybe make a golden apple, make some tools, very good. Okay, we're still a long time in the past. Is there anything that we can craft specifically in this era? We have a Faroa staff and a Sphinx blade, and both require pretty minimal crafting materials. So we'll make our fancy gold pick, grab some of the materials off of this ancient structure that looks insane, and grab ourselves these items. What in the world does this staff do? Holy smokes! It's an Egyptian king! What? And he's also gonna join me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a heart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you attacking me? You should know better than to do that to your master. Oh, I felt bad for that, but I'm at half a heart. Let's be fire. Oh my goodness, what the? I just fired a bunch of mummies everywhere. Okay, so this is very powerful. I need food badly. What is inside this pyramid? Holy smokes. Ah, some nice steak. I needed that. That's more than enough food to last me this entire challenge. Now, what is the? Oh my goodness, what in the world? Look at all the diamond blocks here, this is nuts. <laughs> I can't really mine those with my gold pick. However, what is up here? My Sphinx blade says that it can summon a pyramid. Oh my goodness, a legit pyramid just dropped down onto the ground. Uh, that's interesting. And I can throw it and summon tons of gold and tons of diamonds. Okay, there's gotta be something else in here. What is all the way down below? In the world is this place? There's a secret entrance here with a huge nether portal. And in here, looks like the centerpiece. Do I right click one of these little things here? Run! Behind you! What's behind me? Oh my goodness, oh my gosh! Oh brother, I have half a heart, dude. There's a bunch of mummies after me right now. There's a freaking baby mummy! Hold on, can I use my Sphinx blade? Oh, I can, that is super powerful. This is OP. And boom! Era up! <gasps> Whoa, dude, look at my progress bar now. Okay, so I'm in the year 1000, and I guess this is the medieval age. It looks like I'm in front of a huge medieval castle. My power is now the nightly rush. What is this? Oh my goodness, I look like a freaking medieval knight. <gasps> and 
I get my own medieval horse? And I'm holding like an epic lance. What if I run over mobs? Oh, dude, it flattens mobs. I just flattened a cow. Looks like another thing I got in my inventory is called the Excalibur. And with this, uh-oh, what is that? Oh my God, what the heck, dude? Whoa, dude, it also does like a mystical sword thing. Ooh, we can craft King Arthur's armor. Finally, a pair of armor we can wear and it only requires golden nuggets? Suddenly I feel like the king of the medieval times. <laughs> Ooh, and I can even put a little force field here so that I can't get touched ever. You know what? I feel like the real King Arthur is chilling up there in his big, beautiful castle. It's about time I give him a history lesson on who King Arthur really is. Uh-oh, there it is, King Arthur. All right, he's right inside this castle, I think. Oh my goodness. It's literally him. Oh, oh, wait, you don't want to be friends? That's an epic sword you're carrying. I'm going to do it via my mist sword thing. Is this going to work on King Arthur? I see it on top of him. Oh my gosh, no way. This elf is just going down. I'm not doing anything. Wow, that worked? Yo, what the? What is this place? We're at 1250 levels, which means we're in year 1250. I just got a King Arthur transformation, which means... I can now be the permanent new King Arthur. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I took him out. And what does this do? Oh, okay. King Arthur's got some magic. I have a dragon slash and a dragon's roar. So I have dragon powers, but I'm not officially a dragon yet. And that's what I want to become. So let me just check around these insane dragon looking caves. There's a skeleton here. Oh, okay, my little dragon slash will do like a little aerial attack. My dragon's roar literally burns mobs, so that's a burnt skeleton. <laughs> we can craft a dragon blade and a dragon blaster, and it requires a bit of obsidian and golden dragon claw. I'm not gonna be able to do this in time. An X, five seconds, please, I need to grab it. Yes, I got it, perfect. I have both claws and now I can craft this beautiful dragon blade. Oh my goodness, it's nice. Now it says I can call my own dragon. Oh my goodness! Dude, my dragon is better than the freaking Ender Dragon. Oh my goodness, we need a name for this guy. Everyone comment down below right now. And also this dragon is so cute, he wants you to leave a like. Let's try for 10 thousand likes on this video and i guess i now just fly off into the next era right Whee! Woo! okay we are now in the year 1500 and i am inside what appears to be a large cathedral or church thing i was given a dragon form does this mean i can turn into a <laughs> i can turn into a human dragon okay so i really did get the dragon powers from the previous era and with this i'm assuming i can oh yeah there's a dragon bullet okay so i have the exact ender dragon powers and there's that blaster we forgot to craft from the previous era as well which what does this do whoa okay and in the center a chest with a holy book i need to bring this somewhere is something gonna happen <gasps> I think I need to bring it to that altar. Let's see here, okay. Yep, I think this is the appropriate place for this book. In three, two, one. Whoa, what the? A holy guardian? Um, hi buddy. Oh gosh, it's got lasers and I'm at half a heart. Okay, wait, 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 one sec. Ugh. That was close, man. We can craft a God's Purgatory box, as well as a Saint's Blade. If I use the Saint's Blade, whoa, 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 what is going on here? Ah! No! Year 1700. Would I just get a leader saint? Tall golden horse. I have a freaking golden horse. I'm a dragon on top of a golden horse right now. Okay, so that's pretty sick. Looks like we're on a pirate ship, though. And my new power is walk the plank. Uh, hello, creeper. <laughs> Dude, what? It just spawned a thing with a plank and then it just, the creeper went into like deadly water or something. Can I do this with any mob? This is kind of sick. Oh no, not my horse. Okay, luckily my horse is too big to fit in there. Is there even anyone on board this ship at all? Or is this just all mine? It looks like a huge freaking vessel. Oh, um, hello, sir. Here's a something we're searching for, boyo. But what's going on? Why is the entire ship shaking? Captain? Oh, what just spawned outside? Oh my goodness, it's the Kraken! He's got sharks all around it. How am I supposed to get this guy? Hardly taking him down in health at all. Wait a second. 
Are there things I can craft in this era? Kraken fists! That's exactly what we need. Also take the pirate's hook, cause that looks pretty cool as well. All right, you stupid Kraken. Oh, jeez Louise, what is that? It's like acid rain. Oh my goodness, it's taking him down quite a bit. He can't do anything about it. He's getting awfully close to the ship. And goodbye, Kraken. Peace out. Okay, we took care of him. Whoa, 1940. Are those fighter jets in the air? Are we in the war age? I think we just left the golden pirate age. Dude, is that a freaking tank? And it's got massive bullets that I can fire anywhere and everywhere. I'm also now in like a military outfit. I'm not sure I'm fit for this war. I got a squid form thing. So that turns me into a squid, I guess because I defeated the Kraken. Oh my goodness, it's an active battlefield. There's tons of soldiers just killing each other. Ah, jeez Louise, I'm gonna have a heart. Let's see here, maybe there are crafts to help me out. We got an Armageddon launcher and multi-guns. Oh God, oh jeez Louise. Okay, that soldier just, <laughs> he was there and now he's not. What does this Armageddon launcher thing do? Oh my gosh, dude, I just ended the war. Literally. Well, except for that guy. Get out of here, buddy. Um, it's the military general. Come at me, stupid army general. Get wrecked! Oh my goodness. We're in last year. Uh, I think we're in just a regular looking city from 2022. Maybe New York City? It's a bunch of tall bank skyscrapers. I have a modernized power. What does this do? Oh, I have like a technical robotic arm. Ah, jeez, no way. Okay, oh my goodness. Luckily, it makes me invincible for that. Are you kidding me? That is dangerous as heck. Wait, can I fire that with one of these big skyscrapers over here? Oh, dude, what have I done? What is this 2022 thing? Whoa, why is it coming back down to the earth? Oh, Oh, jeez Louise, what? But in my inventory, I now have a Lamborghini, which means I'll be able to ride the streets with ease. Ooh, a nightclub. Hello, is this place open? You wanna make a rocket ship? You need to find all the rocket parts first. Uh, all right, I, I'll build the rocket ship, sure. Well, I guess we have to go into the future somehow. Dude, I don't know how to build a rocket. Space rocket. Okay, so how do we build this thing? We need all of these parts. Rocket water, a Tesla supercharged rocket booster, and a bunch of fuel and stuff. So I have to apparently find that around the map here. Hopefully this isn't too difficult. And look at that, the rocket water is right here. And right across the street, we have the rocket parts. This is actually easier than I thought, just collect did the rocket fuel. What else do we need? I think there's only like two more items. <gasps> I think this is the battery right here. Perfect. And last but not least, the Tesla supercharged booster. Okay, so that should be everything to build this rocket. We'll throw it in here. We'll grab it. We now have a space rocket in our inventory, which is pretty nuts. And before I take off with it, I kind of want to see there was another item I can craft at this era. It's called a nuclear blaster. If I right click with the nuclear blaster, it, uh, what? What is happening to this building? It's going up into nuclear waste. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Bro, what? Okay. This is powerful. Oh, what? The guy I was talking to here is gone. <laughs> I wonder who that even was. Was that Elon Musk? Anyways, I gotta choose a place to launch off into space, I guess. In three, two, one, lift off. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. We're going up into the future. Goodbye, 2022. Oh, we're in the year 3000. I just got a futuristic hand. Look at my skin. Looks like I'm in a huge spaceship way, way far away from Earth. And uh, I'm in the cockpit of it. My power is a future's blessing. Oh, whoa. Now that is cool. Futuristic Minecraft blocks? Dude, let me check out my spaceship a little bit here. Holy smokes, this place is huge. Oh my goodness, you can craft robotic armor at this point in the future? Dude, I look sick. We also have this robotic gauntlet. Oh, jeez, my spaceship, it's gone. What happened? Dude, this ship is absolutely massive. Look at this thing. What happens if I go up to the front of it? There's a bunch of end portals here. I guess I, I got to the year 3000. It's time to go uh, conquer whoever is the final boss. The time distorter. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh gosh, he's got endermen and endermites and everything. Okay, what does this purgatory box even do if I use it on him? What the? Did I just kill him? It just kills everything in one shot. And it gives me golden energy, whatever that is. Hold on, let me see. What happens if I load this up to full? It has like a, so now it's full. And then what do I do? I just explode it. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. What and now? What is this thing? Is this the real boss all along? Can I just use the same thing on him? <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, that'll do it.